I really do think that at the end of the day, it's got to be this. It's We have got to come to the place of understanding these same things that Jesus was shouting from the rooftops, man. I mean, it's it, it, yeah. it doesn't, truth and wisdom, real universal truth and wisdom doesn't change. It's with us uh, all the time. And this is a universal truth and wisdom. We can either continue to be these animalistic versions of ourselves that are all afraid, these tribal versions of ourselves that just, oh, those people, because they're different in this way or that way or whatever, we all have these animosities or we can recognize, oh, okay, hang on, we might not agree. And I, in fact, some of those things you're doing, we got to put an end to, or I think we need to, but let's sit down at the table and humanize each other again. And, yes. or maybe for the first time, I don't know, and just lead with love, you know, lead with love. And, and, and when you experience hate from someone, take the time. And again, this, this requires us working on ourselves first. If you work on yourself first, then when somebody is uh, uh, hateful to you, you recognize that it's not a personal thing. It's a reflection of who they are, right? This right. is part of the problem. We don't work on ourselves enough. And so somebody does something and we get triggered and we're like, oh, they're a horrible person or whatever. But if we do the work on ourselves, we go, okay, oh, no, no, that's, that's coming from them. And then we can see the hurt behind the hate. But if we don't do that work, we don't see the hurt behind the hate. All we see is the hate. And we don't recognize that they're just a scared, hurt person on the other side of that. 